Welcome to another video of Ward PLS video series. Uh, in this video, we will talk about the mediation analysis using Ward PLS. Basically, we will be discussing about how to run a SAM analysis for mediation model and then how to see the different results uh, related to mediation analysis in which we will uh, talk about the total effect, the direct effect, the indirect effect, the effect size and then we'll also talk about the VAF values which is uh, variance accounted for. Ward PLS has five steps but we have jumped to our fourth step which is defining the model. Uh, we have already conducted uh, other videos for uh, the previous analysis so you can always go back and watch the other videos for simple analysis. So let's just define our mediation model. We'll click this fourth step and we'll go to this window and here we are going to make our variables for example latent variable create variable click and then add the first variable which is learning organization just in the name of this variable as lo learning organization save make another variable that is knowledge creation and we are going to name it as kc if let's make another variable which is our dependent variable which is innovation so i double n now we have to create the links of this mediation model so go to this direct link options create direct link click and click is going to make a link another link click and click and the last link is from the IV to our dependent variable. So this is a mediation model that we have just created. It's going to use the SEM model. So let's go to these options, save model and close. Okay. And now we can proceed to our last step, which is step number five to perform SEM analysis. So let's just click. And here we have the SEM analysis performed, which is saying that a path from LO to KC, which is learning organization and knowledge creation, is having beta of 0.39 and it is significant because p-value is less than 0.01. Here we have this beta which is 0.33 and this is also significant having p-value less than 0.01. And the direct effect is also significant that is 0.30 and then p-value is less than 0.01. 01. So all these three paths are significant. Here are the R square values of this model and here is the R square value of this model. So now let's just go to our uh, results section and see that how many kind of results can we see from this SAM analysis. So what we'll do is we'll go to this view portion and we'll go to this uh, view indirect effects and for now we will only be looking at the classic view now here if we can just divide these two windows and see that how can we read the results here we have to be very careful about reading the results first it is giving us the indirect effects of path with two segments uh, as in uh, other videos we will also talk about some complex models so it is very important to understand what do we mean by uh, two segments or three segments part. Now, uh, to simply understand it, you can say that segments are actually the number of mediators plus one, which means that in this path, we have only one mediator. So one mediator path is showing us as having two segments. So if we'll have, for example, another variable here, we will have two mediators. So we might be looking at results, uh, which is saying that indirect effects for path with three segments. So here it's a simple mediation model. So it will only uh, remain to two segments. But in uh, uh, future, some more complex models, we'll be seeing uh, models with more uh, paths. 
and with uh, more uh, segments. But just to remember is that uh, one mediation plus uh, one is equal to number of segments. Now, how to read the indirect results? In order to read the indirect results, you have to look at these uh, paths and then look at this table. Actually, this table is saying that LO to innovation path, LO to innovation. Here, or you can look at this path, LO KC innovation. This is the sequence. LO is our independent variable, KC is our mediating variable, and innovation is our dependent variable. But what is the effect of LO on innovation through KC? That is this value 0 0.130. Now, how do we calculate this value or how do uh, the software calculates this value? This value is calculated by using these two paths from IV to mediator and then mediator to DV. So if you just multiply the beta of this path with the beta of this path, you will be getting this value, which means that it is a product, the indirect effect is a product of this value and this value of beta. So if you just multiply them, you are going to get the same results maybe with uh, a small difference of fractions because it is not taking uh, values uh, beyond two decimal places. Now, uh, how do we see that this indirect effect is significant or not significant? So we'll have to go to the p values of indirect paths. So it is saying that it is the value is less than 0 0.001, which is significant and the value uh, the, the, the threshold of significance is 0 0.05 or lesser. Then we have some more results, which is the standard errors. They can be seen here. These standard uh, errors are of the indirect path. Now, the only understanding can be that they should be, uh, the standard error should be far less than your beta value and it is far less than our beta value so this is fine then we can go to our uh, effect size this is uh, some of the important information that we require in mediation analysis so when we talk about uh, this uh, effect size it is actually f squared coefficient now in order to remember the threshold values are if this effect size is less than 0 0.02 we do not actually consider it for mediation although our path even if our path is significant still we have to look at this path size and if it is less than 0 0.02 we do not consider it but if it is above 0 0.02 we will say that it has small effect, which is fine, which is totally okay. Uh, if it is more than 0 0.15, we will say that it has a medium effect. And if we say, or if we have a value which is greater than 0 0.35, we will say that it has a large effect. So these are uh, some of the important values. Then we can go to our... Uh, some of the indirect effects, obviously, we only have one path, so it's only going to show us the uh, indirect effect of the same path, which we have already seen. Then we can go to the p-values of this, which is also significant, standard errors, significant. Then we can go to our total effects. Now, the total effects are actually the effect of the IV on DV directly and indirectly so indirect and direct if we calculate both these effects it's going to give us the total effects of this mediation model so if we talk about the total effect of lo on kc that is 0 0.395 but if we talk about the effect of lo on innovation through kc and directly so that is our this value. The total effect value is this 
uh, 0.425 value. So this is a total effect of LO on innovation directly and indirectly. This value is important because uh, in a very short while we'll be calculating the VAF values. And then uh, if you want to look at the p-value of these total effects, these are here and these are significant. And if you want to look at their standard error, that is also far less than their beta values. And then the effect size of total, that is good. That is 0.156 and 0.179. So we can say that it has a medium effect. Now, uh, some of uh, the more uh, calculations that you can do here is the VAF. VAF is calculated or first of all, it is abbreviated as the variance account for. How do we calculate the VAF value is by using some of the values. We will be needing this total effect. We will be needing the indirect effect which is here and we will be needing a formula. So the formula is that if you divide the indirect effect with the total effect which is uh, this one, this one so is going to give you a VAF value. In our this case the VAF value is 0 0.30 which means 30 percent uh, there are disputes because some of the researchers say that the path should be significant only and it is uh, fine you can uh, call it a mediation but some people say that the VAF value should be about 20 percent in order uh, for us to claim that there is a mediation so this is how you can uh, actually calculate these different values and when we will have more complex models uh, the results uh, can become more complex to be understood. So uh, I, I encourage you to start with understanding the results of simple model and then move towards uh, the more complex models. In the next videos, we will talk about uh, simple moderation and then we'll move towards more complex models. Thank you very much for now.